It's just like the so last minute. I prepared nothing. Just a little bit late. But here we are. Microphone should be working. are on the earth, so might be fine. Try rating C, safe rating S. So should be racing clean drivers. But also better than me drivers. So yeah. <coughs> this is gonna be not good. This is nine seconds off. Waiting for everything to start. Here we go. I no idea how this car lagged on the circuit. No practice at all. Very last minute entry. Oh, already made a big mistake. Someone's gone onto the grass. Okay, don't go down to third, I think. It's a strat. Take this race cons 
start with a tip This is gonna be a race of just conserving. I would like some more rotation though. even broken basically for that corner oh Jesus now if only if only I had practiced and I knew like everything like where to break People are knocking over my cones, which is definitely putting me at quite a bit of a disadvantage. I need to actually break. I don't know when to break and people are knocking over my cones. I think this stream might have frozen, I don't know. Oh. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh, and I knocked it over. I'm at least one position ahead of where I was, so it's not too bad. I have not practiced at all, literally went into this. I The only thing I'd actually done at this game was a little bit of split screen with my brother and he also took the crash. I have nothing. Oh, my cones. Well, they start at P16, so it should it should be fine. Oh, I did not practice. Like I was up into P12, but then the lack of practice kicked in, and I broke way too late, multiple times. I 
then I think that was the spin. So, here we go. Practicing would probably be a much better idea. Oh, we'll gain one position at least. One guy left after he got crushed out, so I'm not. I should be fine. Saying soup all over, uh, over and over again. Can you stop spamming the chat, please? Well, we went up one position. Yay! Did I even get my? Didn't know you were a Ferrari engineer. <laughs> Alright then, let's see. No. Oh, it only says 22, seriously. <laughs> it's all that coming from. Let's see. So group three around here. There's group two, which yeah, I don't, I don't have any group two cars. <laughs> and not having any group two cars really, it's really nice. You really think I can do that on a controller with no practice? <laughs> I don't think that's possible. So that's not it, where is... I'm too dumb. Here we go. Something around here, for example, I don't know. L let's, let's look here. Let's see. Race B, again, it's not happening. Let's see. Any group two? It just says group one, group one, group three, group four. Okay, so no group two here. On twenty nine eight, it's better than what I can do. Okay, I'll, I tell you that. Let's see. Just what we can find here. No group two here either. Basically, okay, so it's only us. Nice. Yes, I saw that. So Nissan, where <laughs> I can't read. Oh, there it is. Honda and Lexus. So go look over here. Oh, we should get this. And get this one. <laughs> So use this one for a group uh, one race, this one for a group two race, and this one for a group three race, and this one for a group four race. <laughs> then whatever comes out after group four, you will use this for. Okay, so this is a group four GTR remove for that's a group B. And all of a sudden we get to group two cars. Jesus, 800 grand? 
So this thing, this thing is faster than this in every way it seems. It's lighter, it has more power, it's more straight line speed, more braking, more cornering, more stability. Yes, I can tell. It's freaking eight hundred thousand dollars <laughs> just to drive a uh, daily race C. <laughs> on the whole of group 2, Jesus! Buy it, okay fine. And it, I'll, I'll just sell it again if I... Uh, if I get it as a free daily risk car. I don't know, what's the difference between these two liveries? <laughs> Is it just, like... Is there a single difference? Do it Nam, who just says V. I'm guessing that you're also new here. No, I don't know why I'm saying also. I mean Jensen's been here for a while. There's no difference. Why are there two of them if there's no difference? Hello, okay, then. Nice. <laughs> Why would you spend real life money on this? I got that from basically doing nothing. Yes, sure. I just bought a car, so that's... Yeah, sure. Right, now, so it's Austria, and I'm not too bad at Austria. So it should probably be fine. 2008 Lexus. Where's that? Let's see. 2008 Lexus. Another 800 grand. Okay, so you're. Okay, so I, at least I don't. At, uh, at least you're only messing with me, so it's, it actually is the 2016 Nissan. I hope so. You never know when it's you, so. Until entry period starts. Jesus. Well, then, here we are. after a call marker. See I'm breaking too much so don't listen to the call markers basically. Might as well just turn it off if it's not gonna help. Jesus Christ. 
at WRL Podium 13th, of course. Oh, I have no idea I want to do anything, and the cone markers are uh, very wrong, it seems. Chelsea, J Jensen, you're gonna have to help me out. <laughs> when the hell do I break? The cone markers are wrong and just shit. And um, I'm too dumb to figure it out on my own. like when do I break for the corner <laughs> I have no idea when After <laughs> I know what you what when to break then, then I want to break here. track limits, I don't care, this is just practice, so... I'm guessing it's just a 100 meter mark. Is it not? God, why do I have to spawn all the way back here? Because it doesn't give any practice when you're not going nearly as fast as you normally would be. You're not actually telling me anything. If I don't know anything, how am I supposed to like? Cause I my own. Way too dumb. I think turn one is just a hundred meters. Probably, yeah, it has to be 150 meters on the second straight. I think. When to break? <laughs> like, I don't. You're not telling me when to break. Just tell me. I think we're gonna need to turn this back because if it feels, it, it feels understood. That's all I have to say. That's a corner cut. How is it? You, you literally, you've you've done this, this uh, right? I would I, I would expect you to have to have done this. Uh, so you did do the live show where you practice for this, did you not? This 
is gonna get this is gonna be hard I think it's a hundred meters here stay away from the sausage like literally stay away it slows you down so much Jesus Saying that I'm unhelpable, you're like you're not telling me when to break. Like it, w it would be better if you just told me when to break for the the corners. <laughs> like seriously, that's all you would have had to do. That wouldn't even be that hard. Like, just tell me the number. And then you finish, but I'm guessing you're not here anymore anyways. God, I need someone to help me with this. there which I'm not supposed to do touch the sausage curb there as well basically I'm doing something that I need to stop doing how am I I don't know what to break Jensen uh, wouldn't tell me anything break too early because I didn't s I was looking up and that was the only thing I saw was the 150 meter and I thought it was the 100 this is gonna get hard then I'm gonna I'm gonna be running wide every single time to turn one, it seems, because uh, I'm not getting any help, and the cone markers were no help because they tell me to break way too early. Like 125? Still time is when you break out, maybe? I think so. 125 Maybe here too Oh my god, this thing won't turn and if I go down in gear, nothing happens. We're ignoring track limits. I'm doing my best here, game. I'm sorry, even, even if I practice, like... For 10 years, I can't, I still don't know when to break. Well, I'm not getting any help, and I am too dumb to get this on my own come on why does it take so long to enter well qualifying time trial I really need to learn how when like when do I break Jensen you just could not have 
Like you said, turn one before one fifty, and then after actually, and you just you're just not helping. Of course, we, we just have to use the hard tires as well, the impossible tires. Why are we using? Why can we use super soft tires? before 100 and then I guess it's 125 here about yeah I'm guessing it's 125 here as well don't see no ghosts I'm not sure yeah it's it's 125 here as well I'm guessing Is it retry already? I have to see if I can get the, the first four turns right. I'm saying four, but that's because of the kink. Just mess up every corner and then just go to the next next one like nothing happened. What is wrong with me? And the cone markers don't help. Whatever the name of the company was again. You've done a very bad job at uh, putting your cone markers. You're supposed to break away later. Could you not specify it for like each vehicle? There's so many people working there. At that company, so you could easily do it. And also fix your penalty system. That's another thing. I think that curb did slow me down. And that's that over because I didn't, so I didn't have the proper exit to tell me when to break. I feel like I got turn one. Don't hit the sausage. I s <laughs> Why is it even there? I don't understand. Just bullshit. Please. Slightly touched it, but it's just so high that it really unstables the car. Unstabilizes the car, that's probably a better word. So, maybe 130? I'd say it's probably it.
immediate as well. Okay, I think I'm just gonna edit everything to say. Copy that. We got that edited. We got that edited. Edit. There you go. That's ed edited. Right then, here we go. So that's that done. what I was trying to do because it just has to be there yeah this is about when you break what about here then I want to say it's just the 50 meter mark to tell that I'm going to be so slow in this race. worse for me than my ghost apparently how did it go worse for me I broke way earlier than it and I, I just still didn't want to go doing so much please car don't go down to second immediately Interesting. Where are we starting? P11. People somehow did worse than me. The people behind are not D rated either. It's, there's one. I think. No, there's nobody in here D rated. It's not a single person uh, lower than S. See, there's a. Hey. Just bullshit. 
how is it preparing for first get finish getting ready but uh, it does not let me f finish getting ready for example This is gonna be tire wear as well. Just slower than me. I was lucky to even not be last, apparently. See, they're not much slower than me either. Look how close it is. Jesus. Ugh. I'm screwed. That's all I have to say. I'm screwed. Oh, it's like this incident. It's not even. Oh. Yeah. Why can't it be a grid start? <laughs> Why would you slow down in the m on the middle of a straight? Why would you slow down in the middle of a straight? Colliding with another car, he sl he literally just oh! Don't want to crash into him. Theory. What the hell is this? What are there two slowdown zones? There are two? It's a penalty up ahead. Then go through, okay. Okay, yes, slipstream. Unlike me, here we go. Go up his inside. Squeeze it. SR down. Come on now. I shouldn't even have done qualifying. I mean, it would be good as, as practice, but it wasn't a good lack. Forced another car off the track. I was the one that was pushed off. Colliding with another car. This game's penalty system is the worst in any game ever. I'm sorry. The car won't slow down neither. This game is broken. This car is broken. Nothing is going right. It's, 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 okay, and I've just been punted off. I'm going back down to D rating. Guaranteed. 
Oh, stop understeering, you bullshit of a car. This is... So far, this has been a horrible decision. Now we just need to push as much as we can. Hope that other people mess up. I figured out my braking for most corners. I just need to actually brake. And I just need to hope that the car brakes. Like, like or to slow down kind of brake, of course. The car is so on the steery. And it's horrible on the brakes. Like, I'm, I swear, the um, I supposed to catch up? Any of these people? Why does the cable have to be so goddamn annoying? Oh my god, now why does the AI have to be so slow? I have to turn it all the way down. Well, all, all the way to the rear of the brake boys because it's so under. as well even though they're fighting as hell then there's a rear lock basically locking and the rear slipping out it's so under Siri but at the same time you just you lose the rear random breaking oh my god it's cars that message on the straight god and then the six second time penalty uh, just because the car wasn't acting the way it should have been it's not holding the controller I am nice This car makes no sense. Like this car is actually broken. <laughs> it's understeery. It's so easy to lose a rear end on the br on braking. It it would it doesn't actually even it doesn't even brake basically. Then on the still kicking in, of course. And now the, the people ahead are pulling away because the. No, Jeff, I swear, like. Car handling changes overnight. Oh my god. And I'm actually serious about that because. One day a car can feel. Nice. The next day it will feel incredibly understeer, and the ne and the the day after that it will feel incredibly oversteery, and then feel perfect again. It's like, what is that about? I don't get it. Oh, there it is. This car is undrivable. I 
couldn't even turn into the corner properly because the rear just slipped. So basically I need to turn it more towards the front, but then it will just understeer. So basically I cannot do this race because the car is undrivable. Look how much they pulled away from me, this car is undrivable. Jesus! I'm not doing race C again, I can tell you that. that is oh just get back on the track there we go please I'm gonna get lapped soon just because of the car is so drivable Now the tires are destroyed it seems. Put on those mediums for me. Apparently. SR has gone down, why? Why did why does the SR go down? Is it a speeding in the pit lane? There's nothing that says anything about that, so it makes no sense. So why you would? Why do you lose SR when entering the pit lane? So look at how far ahead of me they are now. system is broken, the handling model on this game is broken because the cars change handling overnight. Like I swear they do. There's no way they don't because a car can one day feel like incredibly on the series, the next day very open series, some days perfect, other days absolutely horrible. Jeff, have you experienced that? Because it cannot only be me. Starts going down. I want my I want my SR to stay so I can raise clean cleaner drivers, but can't do that. I was just saying what? Like, have you not ever? That's a penalty. Have you not ever experienced that one day a car, f f car feels? I don't know. It's just a car can feel very oversteady. The next day it will feel. Horrendous to drive. Have you not like the KTM? Like uh, one day uh, it was the easiest car to drive the game. The next day it, it, it would understeer. It, it, it would not turn. It was it, uh, like it wouldn't even brake. 
but the, the day before it was, everything was perfect. The, the next day, it's the car is just broken. Like, how how have you not experienced that? That's happened to me so many times now. So uh, I guess that's what happened in the la uh, one of the well not the, the one of, well one of the last. I think it was like the second to last uh, battle of the Beatles. Ah, uh, race we did. Not the one with the bouncer. I think it was the one before, maybe. Oh, no, it was probably not. That was probably a different one. Someone ahead of me left. What? Why would someone ahead of me leave? What did I get disconnected? I have no idea. But seriously, Jeff, have you never experienced that? Because it's yeah, it basically happens every day. Like your car feels totally different and it's undrivable. Way too late there. Oh, no, but I'm not talking from quality race. I mean, like, just for for, for me, uh, the, the like, uh, it, it's not just race. Like, I can do a t time trial, for example. One day, then and the, and the car can feel fine. The next day, it will feel absolutely horrible. Like the KTM, for example, it wouldn't brake, it wouldn't turn or anything, and everything was the exact same. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I don't mean it like that. I mean, I can jump at the time trial. Uh, like, compare, I can compare time trial to time trial. One day, car will feel perfectly fine. Next day, it will be like, we won't break, it won't turn or anything. Uh, both of them being in time trial. And the entire race, it will feel hor horrible. That's what happened in the race where I got lapped by the entire field twice. Because I had practiced, but the car felt totally different to, different to what I had practiced with. And the lobby even before that again, it also was different. And everything was the exact same. So I really feel like there's, so there's something wrong with the game, at least for me. Like I don't, I don't understand. Like, what is it that's happening? And it can't only be my game. The entire time, this and they will just. It, it won't be. And you're telling me that's never happened to you. It basically happens to me every day. Like a car can change a, a handling model. Like, I don't know. Now, how can it be in my head? Like, you've you you've most likely seen me, me like do perfectly fine one day, like the, and then a, a different day, the, the, like the, I'm breaking at the exact same uh, the breaking point as uh, the other laps, but it just 
doesn't it doesn't break. Yeah, but I'm not talking about like in the race now. I'm just talking about like comparing time trial. Like the next day it won't break. Same tires because it's time trial. Everything the exact same, but the car changes drastically. And it makes no sense. And you're telling me that's never happened to you. Absolutely horrible around this circuit, it seems. Like, so unnecessary and everything. The brakes aren't really corrupt. Yeah, but wh how does how does the handling of a car change overnight? Like without there being an update, I feel like the cars change and it, all of a sudden it's either very oversteery, understeery, it won't break, or, for example. Like it makes no sense, how does... But how am I supposed to adapt to change if like overnight it, the car uh, is all of a sudden like very understeery or oversteery? Like that put me at a very big disadvantage for the Battle of the Beatles. As well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. In the last one at the Belgium, uh, the car felt fine. I'm talking about one of the ones before, one of the runs before. No, Jeff, it's not. I swear, it's not. Like, there's, there's, something's happening in the game. <laughs> like, if, if, I, if I drive the KTM now... ...around, I guess, Fuji... What the hell is this? A Honda S800-1966. <laughs> you couldn't get me... <laughs> Okay, I'm back now. Anyways, let's see, I'm gonna hit time trial here. Same, exact, like everything's gonna be the exact same as wh what I did in the KTM. The exact same. Is it gonna be undrivable or is it actually gonna be drivable? Because last time it would not break, even at a one hundred, uh, even at one hundred and fifty, and it just wouldn't turn. It just kept on going forwards. <sighs> so everything is the exact same. So this was here. Jesus. Last time it wouldn't turn, now it's... The front's literally not there. 
Okay, this has to confirm it. Because last time it was not like incredibly understeery. No, last time it was incredibly understeery, now it seems to be oversteery. No, that's the 150. Oh, yes. If you remember last time, the car would ne not turn ever, basically. Now it's all of a sudden like incredibly oversteery. Like I can't uh, like th th this is a uh, this there's something happening. Like last time I uh, did this around this exact track, it was incredibly unnecessary. Now I'm having to turn the brake bias forward to stay on the track. Last time I broke it to 150 and it 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 wouldn't even break it then. Like I think I had to break it like 200 or a little after 200 to even get the corner right, or to even get slow down enough. And uh, here it's just very oversteer for some reason. Like incredibly over city, Jesus! I am not going insane. Some this, there, there there are some actual changes here. There have to be. This car was incredibly under You 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 were there, and you could see how I was struggling because the car would not turn, and now I'm struggling with oversteer. And it's, it's happened to me so many times in so many different cars. Overnight it just changes. So yeah, I'm, I went from S to B because of uh, the car. Jesus. Well then. Let's just see, what do we have here? Sure. Anything at all? <laughs> Only Germans, and of course it's around the Nurburgring 24 hour. <laughs> this one's literally just called racing. This one's called test. FIA Pro 2 GT3. P clean, please. Thanks. So it's around the Nurburgring GP. Super Formula only. Around the Red Bull ring. Should be interesting. Ay, 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 like you were there last time and it was incredibly understeer and it wouldn't slow down at uh, at 150 it w it, I had to break at 200 and it still wouldn't slow down uh, and you were there for it god dang it I can't make it faster <laughs> That makes sense. Well, we're doing qualifying now? No, we're doing race. Doing the race? <laughs> what? Okay, we have two uh, Ferraris up. Mission winner, mission winner. I'm way back here. There's a 1000 GP Ferrari, I believe that is. 
and I'm in a Rocket Williams. Perfect. Because I don't want to mess up. 